two tunes you've just heard there were played by a man who needs little or no introduction in the world of Irish traditional music, Liam O'Flynn, on the pipes. And Liam is one of a long line of pipers such as Patsy Tuhi, Seamus Ennis, Johnny Dorn and Leo Rosen, who earn their living exclusively as pipers. And indeed, in Liam's case, he has carved quite an international reputation for himself as a soloist, both in the, in the traditional sense and in the contemporary sense. Uh, Liam, the two tunes you played there, I know the first one was the Scarlet Cravat, wasn't it? Uh, the Sailor's Cravat. The Sailor's Cravat. And uh, the second one was... A uh, tune called I'm Waiting For You. Now, I detected a certain influence of Leo Rossum in that. Yes, yeah. <coughs> Actually, those two tunes I learned were among the first tunes um, I learned from Leo Rossum. And uh, Leo was my... Uh, first teacher on the pipes and uh, I suppose the name Rousam is it's really synonymous with uh, Ilan piping. Uh, pipes go back for generations and generations in the Rousam family um, and Leo's uh, contribution to uh, piping I think it, it's very difficult to estimate um, he was uh, obviously he was a teacher of the pipes um, a great uh, player of the pipes master piper and uh, a master pipe maker um, and, I, and I think any Elan Piper playing these pipes, playing that is concert pitch pipes would tell you that uh, a Rousen uh, set of concert pitch pipes is really the, the best you can get. And of course he was, he was, you know, he taught a whole generation of pipers, yourself, Paddy yes, Maloney, Finbar Fury. Um, yeah. All the um, guys who are on the circuit nowadays, like Leo has made the contributions, hasn't right. he? He actually even, even uh, Willie Clancy took lessons from him for, for a while. Is that so? And, uh, yes, he was in, uh, Willie was in the Rousen Quartet. Uh, he had a, Leo had a, a Ilan Pipes Quartet. Imagine keeping that lot in tune. <laughs> Fair play to you.